Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a message to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, where he expressed confidence that His Royal Highness will follow on the path taken by his fathers and grandfathers in serving Bahrain and Bahrainis with patriotism and a strong sense of justice and equality among citizens. His Majesty greeted and congratulated His Royal Highness and expressed satisfaction and pride in him for his hard work and the efforts he exerted to serve the Kingdom of Bahrain and its loyal people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. He underscored His Royal Highness's strong dedication to sincere and serious action, determination and resolve, while being guided by high morals and generosity, based on piety, love for people, keenness in serving them, as well as justice and equality among them. On the occasion of the National Day, His Majesty expressed pleasure to attend His Royal Highness a message to congratulate him as he assumes the responsibility as Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom. His Majesty the King stressed that responsibility is a trust and that serving the nation and the people is a duty and an honour. His Majesty underscored the Crown Prince's sincere actions to elevate the status of Bahrain and its honourable people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a message of gratefulness from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in reply to His Majesty the King's message of congratulations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister expressed profound gratitude for His Majesty the King's trust to achieve His Majesty's aspirations for greater gratification, higher status and further prosperity for Bahrain and all its loyal citizens. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to Jordan's monarch, His Majesty Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, following a visit to the kingdom. King Abdullah was accompanied by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah and His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Abdullah. Talks between His Majesty the King and His Majesty King Abdullah covered deep rooted bilateral relations and the latest regional and international developments. Also present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani and Jordan's ambassador to Bahrain, Rami Saleh Rikat Al Adwan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on assuming the duties of Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed congratulated His Royal Highness on earning the Royal Trust and prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless him with health and happiness, to make more achievements, progress, prosperity for Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where he congratulated His Royal Highness on assuming the position of Prime Minister. His Highness wished His Royal Highness success in carrying out his duties and national responsibilities to achieve the aspirations of the people and realise the goals of sustainable development according to the Kingdom's Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where he congratulated His Royal Highness on assuming the position of Prime Minister. He wished His Royal Highness success in carrying out his duties. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, assuming the position of Prime Minister. His Highness expressed faith in His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in earning the Royal Trust and wished His Royal Highness progress and success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where he congratulated His Royal Highness on assuming the position of Prime Minister. His Highness congratulated His Royal Highness on earning the Royal Trust and noted that the Trust comes in appreciation of the distinguished efforts of His Royal Highness to develop the country and provide a decent living for the Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa on assuming the position of Prime Minister. He congratulated him for earning the Royal Trust and wished him success in carrying out his duties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, which he congratulated His Royal Highness on assuming the position of Prime Minister. His Highness congratulated His Royal Highness on earning the Royal Trust and commended the efforts and wise leadership of His Royal Highness, wishing him further success in serving the country. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on assuming the position of Prime Minister. His Highness wished His Royal Highness success in carrying out his duties and in leading the Kingdom towards stability and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on assuming the position of Prime Minister. He congratulated His Royal Highness on earning the Royal Trust, healing the expertise of His Royal Highness that will achieve the aspirations of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, on assuming the position of Prime Minister. He wished His Royal Highness success in continuing the march of progress under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on assuming the position of Prime Minister. Sheikh Abdullah wished His Royal Highness success in continuing governmental work which is witnessing substantial development thanks to His Royal Highness's leadership in the Team Bahrain which is being supported by His Majesty the King. The National Guard Commander, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, inaugurated the mosque of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa in Khalifa Town. National Guard Staff Director Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa and the Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, were present. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed inspected the mosque's facilities. He underscored Bahrain's keenness on maintaining and building mosques based on the Royal Directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The mosque includes prayer hall for men and women and accommodates more than 700 worshippers. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa funded the construction of the mosque.
Hassan and Sheikh bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa visited Kuwait today to offer condolences on the demise of the late Sheikh Nasser Suba al Ahmed al Jaba al Suba to the family of the deceased and al Suba family. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to the children of the deceased. His Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and grant solace to his family. His Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Kuwait, Salah Ali Al Malki. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the graduation of the 12th batch of police cadets at the Royal Academy of Police. Under the arrival of His Royal Academy of Police, the Interior Minister was received by the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Academy of Police, Brigadier Fawaz Al Hassan. The parade began playing the March of the Minister of Interior. السلام عليكم يبقى الحظ طيب The Minister of Interior then inspected the parade. The ceremony then began, which was a bridge due to the precautionary measures implemented to combat the coronavirus. The graduates then took the oath. التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي مؤديا أعمال وظيفتي مؤديا أعمال وظيفتي بالصدق والأمانة بالصدق والأمانة محترما قوانين البلاد محترما قوانين البلاد وحقوق الناس وحقوق الناس والله على ما أقول شهيد والله على ما أقول شهيد
The minister then honoured the outstanding students. عبدالله راشد عبدالله بن علي نعم سيدي الأول في المجموع العام مع مرتبة الشرف التلميذ العسكري أحمد نعمان حسن الحسن الثاني في المجموع العام مع مرتبة الشرف التلميذ العسكري محمد وسام مبارك الدوسري الثالث في المجموع العام التلميذ العسكري سلمان محمد سلمان القاسمي الأول في الرماية التلميذ العسكري عبد الله عيسى سالم الدوسري الاول في المشاه التلميذ العسكري احمد خالد احمد الرويعي الاول في التربيه البدنيه التلميذ العسكري فهد عبد الله حمد الكبيسي جائزة قائد الطابور The minister then dismissed the parade after performing the salute. The graduation ceremony comes within the framework of the Ministry of Interior's keenness to prepare its cadres in accordance with the latest international standards in the scientific and training curricula. 
and to work to keep pace with security changes and increasing challenges in order to meet security needs and enhance the capacity and skill development in all security fields. On the occasion, the Minister of Interior expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for supporting the police and strengthening the role in preserving the security of the homeland. On behalf of himself and the Ministry's affiliates, he expressed pride in His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's patronage of the graduation ceremony and His Royal Highness's follow-up on the efforts to maintain efficiency, readiness and high morale of the Ministry's affiliates. He stressed the importance of preparing qualified cadres capable of keeping pace with development in modern security work, noting that security responsibility requires adherence to the law, discipline, integrity and responsibility. The Minister congratulated the graduates and urged them to exert further efforts to serve the country, expressing thanks to their families for their keenness and encouragement. General Sheikh Rashid hailed the role of the Royal Police Academy in promoting commitment with the precautionary measures to combat the coronavirus pandemic, wishing the graduates success in serving the nation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani, said that Bahrain remains committed to support the progress of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, in a way that contributes to maintaining its unity. The Minister noted that the statement of the Cabinet in its session yesterday emphasised the importance of direct bilateral negotiations with Qatar to reach an agreement that would uphold mutual fishing rights between the two countries, in line with practice observed by seafarers for successive generations. The statement is evidence of Bahrain's keenness to guarantee the rights of its citizens and strengthen Gulf cooperation in a way that achieves common interests. Aziani praised the royal directives to the authorities concerned in Bahrain to compensate the fishermen affected by the actions taken by Qatari authorities. He highlighted the importance of applying old norms where Qatar permits Bahraini fishermen to fish in Qatari waters up to the Qatari Emirati borders in exchange for Bahrain's permission to Qatari fishermen to fish in the Bahraini waters up to the Bahraini Saudi borders. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Ar Ramehi made a statement to the Jordan news agency Petra to mark the visit of King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II, to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister praised the mutual positions of both countries across history in defence of interests of the Arab nation. He said that the bilateral ties represent a model to be emulated, which reflects the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al-Hussein. He welcomed Bahrain's great guest, His Majesty King Abdullah II, pointing out that exchanging visits between the leaderships of both countries is a further boost to bilateral cooperation to serve common interests in promoting security, stability and growth. The Minister underlined the common goals between Bahrain and Jordan and pointed out that the critical circumstances undergone by the region require continuous consultation and coordination to overcome challenges. He expressed hope that the visit will further bolster bilateral relations and cooperation and unity efforts to achieve regional and global security. On the sidelines of her tour to communicate with senior officials from the world after a nomination by the Kingdom for the position of Secretary General of the World Tourism Organisation, the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Saudi Minister of Tourism. Ahmed bin Akhil al Khatib in the Saudi capital Riyadh. Sheikh May affirmed that her nomination to head the World Tourism Organization reflects the Arab nation's potential for the interest of global tourism sector, praising the unlimited support of Saudi Arabia for Bahrain's achievements in particular and the Arab world in general. The Galali Fishermen Association announced its support for all the measures of the Ministry of Interior to protect Bahraini fishermen who are in danger of the atrocious attacks from the Coast Guard in the state of Qatar in the form of terrorism that targets fishermen while they work, which is their only source of livelihood. The association valued the interest of His Majesty the King and his directives to contact the affected citizens and provide aid for them, which is in line with bolstering community partnership and protecting the rights of fishermen. 
The association also valued the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his continuous follow-up of the affairs of fishermen, as well as his keenness on supporting them. The association also affirmed the importance of the role played by the Ministry of Interior, led by General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and his pivotal role in following up on Bahraini sailors and listening to the grievances concerning Qatari reckless and dangerous acts that violate customs, norms and traditions in unjustified encroachment on seafarers and violence against them the poor treatment in their prisons, failure to provide all rights and investigations in the public prosecution and Qatari courts, and failure to implement rulings if they are in favour of the seafarers. All this reflects the blatant targeting of Bahraini sailors. The Professional Fisherman Society has extended sincere thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support to Bahraini fishermen through compensating them and making amends for their damage caused by the Qatar authorities' violations against their livelihoods. The Professional Fisherman Society expressed its appreciation for the efforts exerted by His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to deal with the fishermen's problems and enhance areas of cooperation with them, in line with the principle of partnering with the community. It hailed His Majesty the King's constant directives to the relevant ministries, particularly the Ministry of Interior, to remove all obstacles facing Bahraini fishermen, including the daily efforts of the Coast Guard's commander and personnel to prevent crimes and protect Bahraini fishermen at the sea. It condemned the Qatari authorities' proactive practices against Bahrain in breach of all international laws and conventions, citing the recent interception of two Bahraini Coast Guard vessels taking part in a maritime exercise al Mana in north of Fast al Dibail, the Qatari patrol vessels. The society also strongly denounced the Qatari authorities' way of dealing with Bahraini fishermen through detaining their boats for long periods. It said the Qatari patrol falsely facts through targeting Bahraini fishermen in the Bahraini international waters, drawing their boats into Qatari territorial waters with weapons which led to the death of one person and the injury of another, and then informing the Qatari authorities about the existence of Bahraini boats in Qatari territorial waters. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,558 with 211 recoveries and 168 registered new cases. 69 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 83 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Tax Force for combating the coronavirus.